Quick question, Matt Emerson. Do you practice daily gratitude? I certainly try to. <laughs> well, would you like to learn more about how to integrate gratitude in your daily life and work and what that can do for you? I would. And if you'd like to, just join us today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. That's it. Thank you. This is the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast, where real estate and reality meet. And now your hosts, Jan O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, welcome to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 188. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. October might have been business planning month, but November is the month of gratitude. Thank you very much. Matt, I am grateful. Hmm. As my WBNL coaching merch says today, yes. I am grateful. I am grateful for a couple things. I wanted to start the show today with that. I am grateful for you, my friendship Ooh. with you and our business and friendship and what we've done and where we're going with everything. And I am incredibly grateful for an amazing family and the opportunities I'm having right now enjoying getting back into the real estate business because boy i have just done a few things that you're supposed to do like we talked about in business planning and yeah. and all of a sudden things are coming my way business is coming my way and i really think it has everything to do with my attitude yep the actions that i'm taking the intention and focus i'm giving things and it's amazing and exciting to see it work and i am just plain grateful for all of that you know what's funny about that whole real estate business thing and how, you know, it's so, and this is, we're going to talk about attitude today and how attitude is so important and great uh, gratitude is a big part of, you know, improving your attitude and every part of your life, really. But I want to just go back. It, it's like that, the business that you're getting right now literally happened in one day. I mean, not the work that had to go into it, but it's like one day it was a little bit Wah, wah. And then the next day is like, oh, there's like the sky opened up and the mm -hmm. rain was sunshine. Just today, as we record, I've got yeah. three potential pieces of business. I, I got a call from the cards that we sent out to, uh, you know, uh, out of state owners, absentee owners. I got another lead from my broker who's like, can you help me with this? And, and I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, it, it, it's all, I really think it's, it is about the attitude, the attitude of gratitude and coming from that place every day. It's, it's super easy, Matt, to fall into the doldrums and be down and, and, and get very discouraged about everything just in our world today. And that impacts you. And the next thing you know, you're on that side of the fence because it is all about cause and effect, right? I mean, I, I was listening to something yesterday about cause and effect and it's like, what you put out there, you attract back to you, but what you, you can't just sit on the sidelines expecting everything to come your way. No. You know, we have to go out and be of service and come from that place. And the result comes back tenfold. And I, I just really, I'm experiencing that right now. It's I'm so funny. I don't think, I, I don't think I'm ever going to really get over talking about those postcards that we sent out for your, your farm, because yeah. I love, you know, and I don't know, you know, we are big into YouTube now. So when we watch certain things, so every time I go to YouTube, I, it's some real estate, uh, someone selling something on real estate about prospecting, right? And almost every one of them says, oh, don't do it the old way, do it the new way. And every time I hear that now, I literally laugh. And we say do it both ways. Yeah. We are definitely big YouTubers. It takes like anything, it's anything you choose to do in this business. It takes time, consistency, which is where we all fall off the wagon on that. We say we're going to be consistent. And then what happens is we allow everything else to get in our way and we're not being disciplined in following our daily and you plan. Know what? We've actually even really gone a whole different way with that even a little bit farther. It's not even do it both ways. It's do it your way. Find your Good. way to do it, right? It can be any way, because if you're passionate about it and have the right attitude, it's going to work. In traditional, old school ways, mixed in with the new, Matt and I were just talking about that. I'm like, Matt, let's work on the next marketing piece because it needs to be <laughs> establishing. I know the area. Here's what's happening with your, well, first one established. Did you know that your home is worth more or your condo is worth more? And then it can be, then it be, can come a series. And now I want to do is drive people to the YouTube channel where I will be doing a monthly video yeah. on that particular condo as a farm. And 
get on the mailing list. You're not ready now. We'll stay on top of it because next year when you're ready, I'm your girl. Okay. You know, I'm your, I'm your local neighborhood expert because I live here and I like it here and I'm on top of it. And we're, and then this is where we're going to, I'm so excited about talking about this because we know that this works and it's like, there's not enough time in the day. I want to knock out that video. I want to knock out uh -huh. a video on this neighborhood and what are the pros and cons of being here and why should you move here? And that's really where all these things start to come together and establish who you are. Now, this is not what we're supposed to talk about today. I However, exciting. <laughs> I am super grateful about how things work when you focus on it. And, and, right. and so we just, so we want to talk about that. We really do for several years now, we've been using November. It's the month of Thanksgiving. So why not? It's the month of Black Friday. That is the new thing, uh, you know, especially with the pandemic last year. Honest to goodness, these stores can't even help it. They can't even wait till November until they start doing the November Black Friday, whatever you want to call it. It's Black November where all the, all these things that generally happen the day after Thanksgiving, like Kohl's right now is ready to rock and roll on, uh, I'm waiting tomorrow. My family and I are all waiting because we get these certain kind of big one blankets. Okay. Got to just do a sidebar on this for a second because it's hilarious. A funny story. So there is, you can only get these blankets. I mean, you can get these blankets anywhere, but you can only get them for about $8 once a year used to be just on Black Friday. Now it's apparently from November 5th on or however long they're going to run this. And these, are, we call them butters. And in our family, we call it the butter blanket because when you take this blanket out, it's a plush, you know, oversized. Yep. They call yep. it the big one at Kohl's. And it's generally $25, you know, retail $29. You usually can get it for about 20 bucks at Kohl's unless you have cash, Kohl's cash and coupons, right? Well, effective tomorrow, if you use your coupons and that you could get, if you're a Kohl's person, these things are like eight bucks. So our family gives these for Christmas. We have people in our family that I have like five of them in my shopping cart right now at twenty one ninety nine. you know, with the coupon $18 about to go to $8 tomorrow that I'm going to buy and pick them up at the store. Um, so I don't know why I got off onto that thing, but it's just hilarious because it, it's the time to go uh, shopping and of November is the entire month. That's what it was. November, we were talking about gratitude. We, why not? You just don't celebrate at Thanksgiving the whole month of November, just like the shopping has become the whole month. Uh, let's be gratitude and start a practice. And this is the thing I want to shout out. Matt and I tried to do a gratitude challenge a few years ago. We're not going to organize anything that elaborate right now, but what we are going to do is we're going to we're going to suggest to you, we're going to walk through some ideas here. And at the top of the show, I want to say, why don't you use the month of November to just start a practice of every day? This could be the beginnings of your daily habit, your your right. morning routine, and go get a little pad of paper or note, you know, a book or a journal or something, and start your day. And you could start your day, you could end your day, you could do both. I recommend both. But at least start your day. And why some people like to end their day as well is because you want to write down what you're grateful for, for whatever happened that day. But I also like the idea of starting in a mindset of you wake up and you're like, what are you grateful for today? And that was powerful, just starting the episode off that way. What am I grateful for? And saying it out loud because... It shifts everything. I am incredibly grateful. And even if you're having the worst day today, there's something you can find to be grateful for. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think this is something that would be kind of cool. I love those two ideas. Start and end your day with it, or one or the other, or both. Why don't you do this? Go to your Google Calendar and set a recurring message, a recurring appointment in your calendar every day for like 1145. So it just hits you if you if you have your notifications turned on. It, ha it hits you on your freaking phone that says, and that all I have to say is, what are you grateful for today? I'm going to do that because that's a, that's a reminder that is unexpected. I love it. And it, it could be an alarm that you set yeah. on your phone. It could yeah. be something. So do something. This is great, Matt, but just daily gratitude and maybe just put it in your notes or in your calendar. You write down, I am grateful for. Yep. You do this for the whole month of November where we're already, as we record, and as you hear this, you know, we're already in the first week of November. So for the rest of the month of November, do that and watch what happens in your life. Watch what happens in your attitude, which then 
affects what you do to take action, which then you're, we're all magnets walking around attracting whatever we're putting out there, right? So I'm just going to challenge you to it. You want to get up every day and feel great and know that you're going to attract more business or more whatever it is you want in your life because you're taking the right action and you're starting yeah. your day in the right positive mindset of gratitude, not you know, anxiety or worry or sadness. And I'm not saying that you, you're not going to have those days, but even in a day where you're down in the dumps, you can find something to be grateful for. That's right. It could be small, little, simple things. And it's amazing what that does to start shifting your emotional energy that then gets you up and out and doing things, which then, of course, it's your intentions and your actions that start attracting things to you. So that's how you make it a habit. So what else can we talk about uh, ideas around? Um, we always have some great quotes. Gratitude. I want to go oh. back to that one. Gratitude is the heart, is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. Wonderful, man. I, I don't believe I heard that one. You must have found that one. Yeah, I did find it. That was very, very cool. That's great. And with, uh, if you are listening, you can always go get our versions of this over uh, on our YouTube channel and our show notes, obviously, always at WBNL Podcast. Yeah, this whole deck will be on this in the show notes. So, yeah, grab our deck here. Expressing gratitude internalizes good vibes. Oh, my gosh, that is just it. And it's about paying it forward. You know, I, I, I just think that you the little random acts of kindness, uh, let me give you just a simple little example of something that, I, I just felt compelled to do. I was in the mall, the new countryside mall over in Clearwater where I'm moving to. And I was grabbing something to eat in the food court, found this really cool Asian barbecue place. Oh my gosh, definitely going back. Anyway, I'm sitting there and there's a, there's an elderly lady that was had a Chick-fil-A. Okay. And she opened the ketchup package. Okay. <laughs> Well, and oh, it's oh squirt, it, it, so it squirted on her face and into her hair. And she was just the cutest little lady. And I was like, oh, I have to go help her. And she was wiping it off. And I went over, I went and got a bunch of napkins for her. And I said, ma'am, there's a little of this still up in your hair. You got a little right here. There's a little up in your hair. Here, let me just help you take care of it. And I just wanted, I didn't want her to feel embarrassed about it. She didn't really want to get up and go like to the, and she goes, I'll just go home and take a shower. And she, she and I was just like, it was just the right thing to do. And I just, I could not not go help her. You know right. what I'm saying? And, and it wasn't for like, Oh, you know, for anything other than that's the kind of stuff that we all should be doing and helping each other out and looking for kindness and things that we can I say have, to someone. You, you, you don't see anyone uh, splashing ketchup on their face every day, but I'll tell you something that you come into contact every single day uh, it, when you're driving your car is an opportunity to let just do something nice in your car. Let someone go in, let someone go first at a stop. Yes. Car. Do anything you can in a freaking, when you're driving in front of Target, don't run over everyone that's there. Let people freaking walk across the street. I mean, there's so many things you can do that are so little and just smile, just smile at someone. That's my favorite thing. Honestly, just smiling is the best. Smiling's my favorite. Do you know what that's from? The quote? No. Smiling is my favorite. It's from Elf. Oh, of course it Elf. is. Which I'm sure we'll be talking a lot about over the next eight weeks. <laughs> Smiling is my <laughs> favorite. favorite movie. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you get it. Little random acts of kindness. You know, honestly, it really can reduce the symptoms of depression. We were Absolutely. just talking about that at the top of the show. And it's like, but you when you're not feeling great or you really have things that are happening in your life, I'm not saying that it magically goes away. I'm just saying when you work towards doing something that helps you even just smiling and ha uh, doing something like a random act of kindness and not expecting anything in return is enough to shift your energy. You know, right. uh, the giving and the receiving of doing something that's nice for someone. The, the, what are some of the other ideas? I had uh, had somebody do it for me, um, paid for my, I never had that happen before. I told you the story. I had somebody pay my lot for my lunch. They just, we just got into a conversation and uh, it ended up turning into a, uh, somebody I put into my database that had a home to sell. And we're talking about being in the military and her son was in the military. And next thing I know, I go to pay for my lunch and they, the couple had picked up my lunch. Hey, um, on that same note, my, you know, my, my sweet piece, a, a school teacher and she and her teaching partner were out driving through somewhere um, the other day for lunch. And they, um, they, uh, 
the car in front of them was taking a little while to get through. And then all of a sudden the windows roll down on the car in front and these two little boys stick their head out the window and they're like waving back at them. And they're twins that are in the fourth grade this year. And then when they got up to the window, they had actually paid for my wife's dinner. Um, oh, her, see her, now I love that. I just think cutest, that is so awesome. Cutest thing, right? So cool. And she felt great. They oh, felt great. Yeah. Everybody she felt, felt great, great in that situation. Exactly. Everybody, even the person at the place felt great because it's like, wow, you're observing somebody being kind yep. and do and being grateful for something. And it's just amazing. And, you know, because so much to your point about driving, I have to work on this because I if I'm in a hurry and I'm doing something, I can get into that space of like, boy, you know, uh, use a signal much or yeah, get snarky exactly. and and like, oh, God, can everybody get out of the way? I need to, you know, and then I, I catch myself when I'm in the right mindset to say, take a breath, let that person get out in front of you, you, you know, every, you know, but it does take work. Driving is the best example in my world, too, of, of working on it. OK, and not Absolutely. getting road rage. Right. So let's talk about some ways to practice gratitude in addition to what we've been doing it all along. Right. We talked about a daily gratitude journal. I think just having a journal anyway is such a great idea. And and I go back and forth with the whole journaling journaling thing. I like your idea of rem a reminder about stopping it's almost like stopping and taking right. a breath like you could almost i like doing the middle if you can do it in the middle of the day or if you could do it where you find a time that works for you if it's not the first thing in the morning that it's just about a habit right it's about That's getting into the practice of you start your day that way or 11 45 or right at lunch maybe you stop and have a lunch and you actually write down something that you're grateful for it's that routine of doing it over and over again that can shift everything for you. And so a journal is one way, but you can do it in many ways. You don't have to have a paper and pen journal. You could do it in a, a note, uh, an app in your phone, whatever works for you. Um, the contemplative practice every day, this is starting your day in a, in a mindful way with, and, and doing your, uh, stopping to, to, to list what you're gr grateful for is one of those ways, but it could be meditation, prayer, taking a walking, a walk is a yep. great way to get into that mindset, right? Where maybe you're not listening to anything. You're actually just listening to the birds or you're enjoying the sunrise. And that is another way to get you into a space of being grateful for just the existence of the ability to, uh, um, you know, have a, a place to take a walk. Why well, don't you take this yourself, one, Matt? Right? Always to center yourself. You, this is Matt. You talk about this one, Matt. Well, yeah, we, we just touched on it a few minutes ago, writing thank you notes. So for crying out loud is the easiest thing you can do. And it's something that at literally nobody does. <laughs> right? It is so true. You know, if you watch any of our videos, you know, we do a, a, a segment on Canva all the time. And if you go into Canva, you can build your own personal little note cards. We have one for WBNL coaching, just checking in people, you know, inside our logo and a blank card. You know, simplest little things. I, I, I mention this every time we talk about writing notes. <clears throat> I, every school day, Sweet Pea, I always pack her lunch in the morning and I write a note for her every single day. And I've been doing that for years. And she has them collected in her classroom in a, in a little box in her classroom. And they're just little post-it notes. But if you look in that box, which I actually haven't done, but someday I'm going to, there will be hundreds of those notes in there. And every day this month, I'm writing a quote about gratitude in her for her her notes. Oh, that's so awesome! She came man. Home last night, and she's like, "Oh, I love that quote that you um, uh, you gave me yesterday, and or that one you did, you know, uh, on on Tuesday was awesome. It was just it's cool." And so she always says this anyway. She does gratitude in her classroom in in November, but now she's reusing my notes. It's like I'm helping her uh, with her uh, her lesson her curriculum. <laughs> No, but oh my gosh, that is the best. Impactful. You know, when I w used to have an office job, I used to write personal. It was one of the first things I did when I got to the office every day. I wrote one or two personal notes every single day and either shipped it out in her office mail to another, uh, uh, you know, office or region or did it to someone there at the corporate office. And it, you would walk around the office and you would find your little notes stuck up on their little bulletin board. Absolutely. Especially your notes, Matt Emerson. I'm going to give you a little uh, feedback on that because I am packing up to move to my new Clearwater place. And uh -huh. I came across some Matt Emerson notes because you're not going to throw them away. And this is the whole point. When you write a little heartfelt note, it doesn't have to be a big, long note. And you send it to someone, a client, anyone. 
uh, somebody's going through a bad time or somebody has something positive happen and you stop to think and you write a little quick note to them. Oh my goodness. It's amazing what happens. Um, and people don't throw them away. It just and gets it, back it to, you can do this really easily with the text, but I think texting at some point is going to become like what email was years yeah. ago, right? It's people are going to be like, ugh, on to the next thing because I get too many texts. You know what I mean? It's just, it's really not as personal. As it, it, so you know. add writing notes to your to, to, uh, to your to your thing and and positive thinking right so a lot of time easier said than done however it, the thing I always tell folks is this we have the only thing we get to control can't control all these things that are happening outside of you nope. the only thing we get to control every day is the way we react to things that happen around us and the how we decide to you know what mindset we try we decide to be in right it's like when somebody says you made me angry or i'm upset because of something you did that's not true you decided to go into that space now Preach. events outside of you happen you decided to react to it a certain way that's right. totally in your control so you get to decide if you want to have negative or positive thoughts. So most of us subconsciously all the time have negative self-talk. We all do. It's just the nature of humanity that we're not, we don't feel like we're perfect. We're not good enough. We all have our issues. And so whether you know it or not, you, that's happening to you. And so the power of, and it's not just things magically start happening when you think positive thoughts. It's not, not that at all. It's just that when you, become aware. It's like, I like to use the matrix example, the red pill, the blue pill. When you have an awareness and awakening that you're sort of in charge, you don't get to go back into the matrix to say, yeah, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know I was just a drone in the machine getting up every day and going to work and it was happening to me. No, you're deciding to do that. So when you're awake to it, when you're awakened to that, you're in control of that, then every day, what are you choosing in a moment? In your road rage moment, what are you choosing? You're choosing to be that way. That guy that cut you off didn't make you get angry. You chose to get angry. So choose the good thoughts. Choose the positive thoughts, right? Yeah, it's funny because, you know, uh, this is a hard one if you are around someone that is negative a lot of the time to um, – to talk about them, but to talk about that with them because no one wants to hear that they're negative. And most people that are negative are some people that are negative don't even realize that they're as negative as they exactly. are. Exactly. It becomes, you know, it's it's become a habit. Yeah, you have to be. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? That is so true. And I was talking to someone the other day that was kind of like this. And they said, and I don't usually say anything, I just kind of roll with it. It bothers me. Mm -hmm. But I um they said something to me, and I'm like, wow. And I, I was, I, and I thought, okay, have I said, wow, so I got to continue this and just <laughs> go ahead and say it, right? I'm like, okay, I'm not going to say that was the most negative thing I ever heard. This is what I said. I said, well, that is the best example of the glasses half empty I have ever heard. Beautiful. And which is really, I mean, it was just as insulting, really. You know what I mean? But it's like, they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, I think there's other ways you could have looked at that. <laughs> and and but by the time we kind of got through that awkward moment, it was like, yeah, you're you're right. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, all right, moving on. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> people weird, are just right? sometimes not aware of it if they're so used to seeing the glass half empty. Then yeah. that's their that's their model of the world, and it, right. it it takes work to undo that programming, and 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 it, you know it can happen. So it, what I what what I also like to just say on that one last thing is that. When you catch, so as you become awake and you've taken, I always forget if it's the red or the blue pill, whichever one wake, woke you up. Yeah, I don't know. You don't forget. One of them makes you forget um, and go back to the other area in that movie, which I just love that movie. It's when you catch yourself having the negative thought or the negative self-talk or the blah out to someone, you catch yourself. You don't beat yourself up about it. You just catch yourself and go, wow, I, I, I'm doing that. And you just make a choice. I'm, I'm going to stop that now. And I'm going to go into a positive or find like to your story, find the spin that's positive, find reframe it. That's all NLP reframe it yeah. and come in with a different point of view. And then you now find yourself all your body language shifts, your energy feels better. That's what we're talking about. Totally. So Matt's showing a picture. One of my favorite picture, one of the favorite things that Matt and Laura uh, have done with me is they've, they, they are responsible for helping me understand the beauty of the national parks because they love it so much. And I always have, but I never, not as fervently as you guys. And you, you know, you're so, you go and you're, you haven't gone as much this obviously like everyone, but this whole thing of taking reflections and 
uh, water or in puddles. <laughs> it's brilliant. So uh, uh, for the listeners, there's this picture of Matt walking. Uh, where is this, Matt? This is definitely got to be Yosemite. This is in Yosemite. And, and yep. on the, actually, we were on this hike. There was the one that goes from the- uh, I think I was there. Out. Yeah, right. Yeah, and over so, to uh, Mirror Lake. Yeah. So that we're on the way to Mirror Lake and there's the picture of Matt and uh, the, his reflection. But what's in the reflection in the puddle is the beauty of that's above of the rock and the sky and- the the uh, trees and stuff that are around and 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 this is just what is awesome. Like, isn't that for you? For me, I mean, I you speak to it. Um, why do you get out there? And does that allow you to? You know, obviously, you're super grateful in that space. But what is what draws you to the park or just anywhere? Anywhere it's outside. For me, it's just like any. It's anything else. It's a way that you can realign and reconnect. And if you and this is what you know. I what I always talk about with nature. Is anyone, well, anywhere you walk, you don't have to be in a national park. You can be anywhere walking around. You could be, you know, this, you know, in the autumn, you know, looking at the the plants, you know, the trees turning or the, the plants changing. And they do in Florida too. So look for that there. Sunrise <laughs> um, and sunsets do it for me. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, it's just one of those things where y y you can walk through that every day and never pay attention to it. You have to stop and you have to look at it. And if you look at it, and really start looking at it. Any anything is got a intense amount or a deep amount of beauty to it, and it really you talk about being grateful. You can start being grateful for the tiniest little things and the way that a a leaf will look or the the just the structure of the leaf actually is. And it just re it just reset for me. It just resets my brain. Right. Because it's not it just takes you out of that moment that you're in. It allows you to just appreciate everything around you. And if you are on that and you do that regularly, I think you start looking at everything a little bit differently. And I think that's why it's great. So well, so get up and get out, as we like to say at WBNL Coach. Yeah, exactly. Now, what about this? Help I love yourself this from complaining. I love oh, it. Oh, that's what we were just speaking to. When you find yeah. yourself in that attitude of gratitude and you're seeing nothing but the positives, it's really hard. It becomes glaringly obvious when you get into the complain mode. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. And I, lo I love it. And I think there's a, a lot of people just love to, to get right to the complaint, right? Because <laughs> everything's everything could be better and everything. Rah, rah, rah. Okay, well, you know what? Just knock that off. <laughs> Knock, knock, knock it off. <laughs> knock it off and, already. And that is it. Practicing gratitude can make you feel more alive and more, obviously, it's appreciation, it's awareness, it's feeling better. It's just, I mean, it's, to me, it, it's, everything shifts in your body and your energy, yep. which then is what you're giving out there, which then, of course, is what attracts better uh, situations to you, events, people, relationships to even business clients, because that's what happens on a, on, on that level and that energetic level that we're, we're seeking out that, that like kind energy that we were putting out into the world. So, man, I wanted to, I want to be around positive, grateful people. Okay. Not complainers and naysayers and glasses yeah. half empty people. And if you have more energy and you're feeling more alive, you're going to actually be better. <laughs> it's going to be better for your whole well-being. Thank you very much. Right? And health. Exactly. It, it all leads going the, the the negative side is what leads to health concerns and you know and then when you're in a better attitude and you're grateful you're more inclined to I mean let's just think about it you're more inclined to get up and get out. Exactly. Get in nature, go for a walk, take care of yourself, make better choices for yourself versus oh well whatever ho hum everything is bad anyway I might as well eat that box of chocolates. Okay. That's right. <laughs> you know, or not get up and work out or, or yep. whatever. Yep. So I, I love it. I mean, I'm feeling good about November gratitude. Absolutely. Right. Being happy, choosing gratitude and choosing happiness uh, on a daily basis and looking for that. And when things happen and they will, you just become aware of it. You deal with it. I'm not saying you can't, you know, we're not talking about walking around and you're all your you're over the top positive. This is not what we're talking about. We're saying yeah. focus on the good stuff. Good well, stuff. Well, here's the in. deal. You can't force it. So we either, you know, you either are grateful or you're not grateful because when you force it, it just comes off wrong and people can, yeah. you can smell that a mile away. So you, you know, you might have to work on it a little bit, but, um, but if you, when you do all the things we talked about will come your way for sure. Right. I love it. So that's our gratitude uh, chat, right? Yep. Um, Here's a little quote that I liked. Um, uh, Gratitude is a powerful catalyst for happiness. It's a spark that lights a fire of joy in your soul. 
because it does. It yes, choose it, be it, <laughs> enjoy it, and all that. I other, am grateful. Yeah. Exactly. And if you if you feel like you need to be able to walk around and be a walking billboard, you can get these I Am Grateful t-shirts over at our store. Uh, As a matter of fact, you can grab some Grateful Garb and the link in the show notes below. I knew he had something for us on that. <laughs> and I do think we have some stuff on this. Where do we put all our content for... Uh, uh, did we put our content up that was more on the mindset stuff? Did we put that as a bonus thing in the real estate sales builder? Remember all that I stuff on Align Connect people. Prosper? Where's all the Align Connect Prosper? I will look stuff? for that and put that up there. And okay. You know what? Also, to put a link in the show notes for, um, we used to have a program called WBNL 365, which was just uh, social media posts. And for the month of November, every single post was a oh, I am yeah. grateful for. I'll put all thirty of those up there, um, so you can just you you can use them if you want to. But it, you, it also, it just gives you a, um, a little uh, uh, helpful uh, nudge on things to be grateful for because you know it was actually very easy to come up with thirty of them because there's a lot more than that, but um, they're kind of fun. Coolness. So what else do you have All around? Right. We have a little um, seminar coming up on the 16th of November. Shall we chat about that for a second? Let's tell people about it if they hung in uh, here with us this long. That's right. It is a uh, very, uh, got a short title. It's called the 15 Real Estate Essentials to Compete and Win in 2022 Business Planning for the Modern Real Estate Agent. Rolls right off the tongue. It does. Um, but it's true uh, because we're going to talk more about the, more than just business planning as far as just writing down your goals and tracking your goals. We're going to talk about tips and tricks and ideas that can help you actually exceed and excel in 2022. The link for the registration is also going to be down on the show notes today. So check that out. I am excited about that course because we will get through the basics of business planning, but it's more exciting to talk about what do you need to do to make it happen. Yeah. And if you want to actually come to that, you know, we do have limited space for that, um, that course and we're about halfway there. So make sure you get there. You know, you still about, about 10 days or so ish, no, 12 days to, um, uh, get that registration in, but we don't want you to get locked out. So kick off 2022 in a great there. way. That's what we're about. Uh, don't forget to set your clocks back this weekend, people. Oh, yeah. That's uh, right. Daylight savings time ends. Frankly, it's already happening. I get, you get up and you're like, whatever. Is it still five o'clock in the morning? It's already I happened. I know. That's true. <laughs> All right, Jenna Bryan, anything else? That's it. I'm moving. I'll uh, let you know. Uh, we're getting some, going to be closer to the water. I'm going to be closer to the Tampa Gulf Coast, effective tomorrow as Love we record it. this. Living in the clear water, Dunedin area. Woohoo! Living My area's a special team. All right, everyone, I'm going to leave you with a final gratitude, gratitude note for today that I love. Sweepy got this one in her lunchbox today. All right. And it is a little quote from John F. Kennedy. Uh, for those of you listening that don't know who that was, he was president back in the early 60s. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I love this quote. This is the, if everyone just lived this, that would be it. Here we go. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appre appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Oh, yeah. Thank you, JFK. That's right. All right, everyone. Done. Get up, get out, be grateful, and be forever wandering, but not lost. Can't really do this heart very good. There. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, here. Do it better. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Make it a great week, everybody. Thank you.